Hey, the survival game mania is still going solid in 2022. If you're searching for something to play quickly, today we've got 10 games from the survival genre. Or games with survival gameplay components that you should watch this year. Let's get started off with number 10, with V Rising. Now, this is a little different video game. As opposed to being a survival game as a human, this is a title that places players into the function of a vampire. In this, gamers are stirred up from a slumber that lasted centuries. And also weak and also needing blood, you start your trip of taking easy prey prior to you're able to kind of restore your castle and also your whole vampire life if that's what you want to call it. However, being a vampire indicates staying in the shadows during the day and also growing in the open in the evening. It's open world as well as you'll be able to play online, either competitively or cooperatively, which can make for some lovely interesting scenarios. Be a vampire, raider, or a mediator, you're gonna have a lot of options it appears. Currently, I've stated this in many videos and also I'll state it again here, we can never have enough vampire games. There just aren't enough. Eventually, V Rising is rather cool, and also we most definitely 100% suggest it if you're using the computer. Now, next over at number 9, Little Devil Inside. We'll possibly catch your focus immediately if it hasn't already from a visual perspective. It's a unique looking, 3D action adventure, light survival title from the indie studio Neostream. Currently, in general, the game places players with the job of hunting down and also getting creatures that prowl in this sensational world. From what the programmers have asserted, Little Devil Inside takes on some technicians comparable to the Harvest Moon series. Currently, in this video game, players are hunting down creatures as a job, as well as you're also experiencing everyday life unfolding. From taking place missions, and gathering your resources, to various other diversions, it looks as if Little Devil Inside is a video game that has lots of survival aspects, even if they're a little bit simplified. To keep alive you'll have to endure the hostile weather, fish, and also cook to maintain your vitals up. We understand it's not most likely to be a full-on devoted survival game, but these aspects certainly will probably make it feel survival sufficient. And also, either way, this game looks pretty awesome. Next up, we're gonna combine two games in one point. The first game is Rooted. This is a third-person-ish survival video game set in a post-apocalyptic abandoned globe, where, obviously, there's a huge focus on event products as well as constructing a base and all that in this very gorgeous-looking Unreal Engine 5 woods, yet also you're checking out abandoned structures as well as storehouses that have actually become disordered. It looks eerie and creepy and also lonely. That being stated, it also looks extremely early. There are some parts that look pretty janky and not so hot. So we're gonna judge it much more when we see more and we reach really get our hands on it. But some individuals located it fascinating, so we intended to discuss it. Another game that's very similar, that also has been getting traction, is called Derelicts. This is additionally a very tiny project made by a very small team of a single person. And this is a first-person open-world survival video game with deserted elements, animals, and also some sci-fi components. And it is also running in Unreal Engine 5 and also it does actually look quite stunning. This one looks a bit extra complicated than Rooted, however because they are types of comparable situations we did want to just give them a reference below. Both of them don't have launch dates, but we're watching them. Next up, at number 7, we have Nightingale. Now, this is an open world, first person, survival video game that just quickly seems like means greater than those typical buzzword summaries. I imply, check out the design. It's clearly fantasy styled, yet also a type of late 1800s gas lamp style. Implying more enjoyable devices, musket style weapons, as well as awesome one of your personalities. Now, along with that, some actually unbelievable beast adversary layouts. You're battling, you're questing alone or with various other close friends, as well as you're constructing. But you're constructing amazing structures and also operations from the moment duration. Currently, the magic spin on this, while still a type of mystical, simply appears actually compelling, as well, tale and objective wise, the game itself describe you as being stranded in a mystical globe and you need to become an experienced realm walker and also browse via every one of these interdimensional sites to locate the last stronghold of humankind. Seems insane. I hardly recognize what any one of that implies. But crafting, structure, battling with a bit of a different feel and also vibe than what we have actually seen prior to noise is good to me. Now, next over at number 6, Dead Matter. Currently, this video game has a long history, after lots of delays and crowdfunding projects as well as presses. It still in either case has a great deal of potential. This is a brand new open world, survival horror type video game. 
For those of you that have not become aware of it, gamers are dropped right into a post-apocalyptic globe where zombies flood the world, which seems like pretty much every other game. But as you can see from the gameplay on display below, it's a little bit various. You got to scavenge for items as well as look for shelter. And also it's a mix of video games you're possibly currently knowledgeable about, like Tarkov or DayZ. There's a great deal of dealing with other gamers or combating hostile gamers that are trying to obtain your things. And also the developers behind this game, Quantum Honesty Software Application, are likewise making a video game that concentrates on customization here. There are plans to bring full modding assistance to the Heavy Steam Workshop. So there's a potential of other players really helping right into crafting something one of a kind for this when it lastly does launch. Next over at number 5, Occupy Mars. This video game is a simulation survival video game. Currently, as you can probably currently distinguish the title, gamers are tossed onto Mars. Where the goal is to sustain life. This is done in a couple of various means. First, you'll require to gather enough sources to build up various structures. And after that from there, you require to really ensure there's enough power to maintain the different areas developed online. Managing all kinds of points like, naturally, power, oxygen, environment, food. Currently, this is a mix of simulation and also critical gameplay, from mining for products and also building photovoltaic panels to get power. It might not be for every person but for those that take pleasure in the marvels of the room as well as are to really play out what life might possibly resemble when we begin to conquer Mars, occupy Mars, the video game might be worth grabbing when it releases, likely, later on, this year. Over at number 4, we have Night is Coming. Currently, this survival building game is slated for 2022, and also truthfully, it looks sick. To combine survival and also building components with a horror fantasy globe, appears like a dazzling combination. You generally develop out your own settlements, piece by piece, handling every element to maintain people to live. From reducing trees and also doing lumber, to searching, finding food, and farming. However, there are elbowing in dark bad pressures, which is where what actually appears like some appealing engaging fight can be found. As well as I enjoy a deep town negotiation home builder, yet when you throw in some actually, truly awesome personality as well as loot styles as well as some truly amazing adversary as well as creature layouts, that seems to be a suit made in heaven. Currently, we're actually truly shocked that we have not heard more regarding this video game due to the fact that I mean, consider it. It is among the cooler looking survival video games coming this year and we actually hope it meets it. Next at number 3, Frostpunk 2. The original Frostpunk brought players a challenging strategy game, as they attempted to build up a city in the rough, never-ending winter months. In it, gamers had truly minimal sources and also a group of survivors to please that require a lot. Every option you made was an essential one to maintain every person alive. So theoretically, it's not quite a survival video game, however, you really obtain the exact same hopeless feeling. Now, with the follow-up in the works. We're uncertain of just exactly when we'll obtain our hands on this one, it appears like this year. And in Frostpunk 2, gamers will certainly once more be put back into the frigid tornado the globe is going through. Yet while the very first video game is based around a coal system to warm and also power up the city, this upcoming one appears to be all about oil removal. And consequently, players can anticipate another challenging survival, strategy city builder experience. You can also probably anticipate quite a few crucial options to pop up, which might be flooding valuable resources into the city or transform the residents against you, causing your death which takes place a lot in the very first video game. If it's anything like that, these choices will certainly be definitely crushing and difficult to make. And also we're sadistic and also we're eagerly anticipating that. Down to number 2, Sons of the Forest. The initial game, The Woodland, from End Night Gamings, was a survival title, as gamers were embedded in the woods trying to find a means of escape as well as survival. It was a mix of survival as well as simply a constant danger of creepy hostile adversaries that left followers truly digging it. That thing was removed. Currently, there are still gamers discovering video games to this day. However there is a sequel coming, it's remained in the help of a min, it's called Sons of the Forest, and players are seemingly taking an expedition back into the woods as a means to hound the supernatural components that lurk within it. From what we can inform so far there is even more focus on survival, with the players needing to collect different sources and naturally, more aggressive opponents prowling within the timbers at night. You'll discover that they can assault you and also destroy your prepared base, which indicates that all that effort might have to be totally redone before nightfall hits. If you played the initial one, you know the drill. And also if it is anything like the first game, it'll be a harsh yet pleasing standard survival video game. Down to number 1, 
We have Raft. Raft looks like an actually great combination of a traditional survival game like ARK, or something like that, blended with something a bit extra enjoyable, like Subnautica or Stranded Deep, with some boat building co-op shenanigans like Sea of Burglars. I really assume that's the pitch right there. That's really it. And also I assume that's the win. This simply launched at the moment of making this video clip, yet it seems like individuals are truly loving it. There are numerous video games available that half-ass the category or just do not really bring anything fun or brand new, but Plethora seems to be doing it right. Celebrating some video games that came before it, utilizing those components, but simply with a fun, various spin. You gradually develop out a huge floating residence ship as well as try to make it through a journey throughout a large ocean. Naturally, you need to worry about not passing away in the typical survival means, yet additionally sharks. So, yeah, as I stated, it feels like this one is worth looking into if you're really into the genre. Yet those are 10 survival video games worth watching throughout 2022. If you got a new approaching survival game that you're looking forward to this year. Even if it just has some survival components, whether it's a triple-A huge video game or an indie game, allow us to recognize what you're expecting or presently soft pedaling in the comments. If you appreciated this video clip as well as like possibly having a new game placed on your radar, clicking such a switch is all you got to do. It really helps us out. And subscribe if you're new because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.